the socket than just straight up in the air. I am looking at my arm. It is covered in dog hair, y'all. I couldn't help it. I'm in a black sweater, y'all. And I just came home and hugged my babies. I just love them so much. Now, if I really want to curl them, go back and do it again. Now, two things are accomplished in doing this. One, you get a better crimp in the, the hairs. Number two, you may not have gotten them all in the first round, so you definitely will in the second round. I don't hold this one as long as you just saw. But I do hold it longer than like some people do who just like, like, why do you even bother, you know? Um, because they hold it, they just go like, I do it for three seconds. And I'm like, and you think that makes that big a difference? I don't know. You're, if your eyelashes are like already are curled, then maybe that's true, but that's not true for me. Okay. Then use your black, um, makeup towel. And what do we do? We always wipe this off. Get the, um, eye goos, eye boogies, eye wormies, whatever they are, get them off. Make sure it's clean because it will harden and it's just not good for the, your eyelash curler. Either the rubber band, which that little band right there, that little rubber stopper thing that you, that keeps you from like pulling your eyelashes out. Um, it also gives pressure against these two pieces of metal. School must be out. Uh, anyway, um, it gets anything off of that. And that's just what I do like a day and then every couple of days I'll take a, sometimes I do it every day. I'll take a, a makeup remover wipe. These are what I use. Uh, and this does get all mascara off. You work it a little bit, but better than anything else, the Neutrogena makeup remover. Uh, and it says right here, um, even waterproof mascara. And it's true. This is, it just, it gets it off. It's great. But also use that to wipe off your and clean your, um, what am I trying to say? Help the Beth. What am I trying to say? Clean off the eyelash curl. There we go. Okay, so we're going to start with this one first. The Voluminous Lash Paradise. Now let me show you the difference. This may be more than one video. There's a dog hair. There's always a dog hair. Okay, it's very, very wet, but it's creamy wet. It's not so wet that's going to make a mess. Um, it's also a brush spoolie, a spoolie brush, okay? It's a very interesting shape. It's almost like an hourglass shape. And you're going to take the little goo that's on the end tip, and you're going to hit the tips of your lashes. Watch. Why do I tip the ends of my lashes? Because, have you ever been looking at someone sideways? I just noticed a zit on the end of my nose. Yes! Teenager too. I must be a teenager. Okay, so uh, because you look at people sideways and you'll see their lashes and then you'll see these little blonde tips because they didn't finish. They just go like that and it's like, okay, you didn't get the ends of your lashes. So, And it just also kind of picks up where they are. See how I'm getting those little ones in the outer area These that get scrunched up? Look at them all just start showing up. Now, go to the base and come all the way to the end. And I just go from the outside in. And then I take the tip in and kind of separate the ones on the inside towards the nose. And then come up right next to those. Come straight up here. I do it very slowly. Some people just go boom, boom, boom. I do it slowly because as I do it, I'm putting pressure backwards. And that's also why I'm closing my eye, by the way. Because that's going to make them so long. If you don't close your eye, if you just went like that, it's going to hit back up in here. So that's why I'm doing that. I am needing to separate them because they are, there's one little hair that just wants to do its own thing. Okay. Then when I get back over here, I'm going to tip these towards my ear. So you want a fanned effect. So these go that way. These then start going out, up, up, in. That's how you want that to look. And then I can either go to the next eye or wiggle, wiggle down, wiggle, wiggle down, down, wiggle down, wiggle, wiggle down, down. You wiggle right at the base and then go down. That's only on round one. I always do two rounds at least, sometimes three, depending on what I, the look I want. There I'm having to go back because i got a little too much on it there. I don't want to kind of that out. Now let's just say you've got too much like that. 
get you one of these little boogies that you can get them at the drugstore. This, I don't even think this has a name on it. It just says eyeliner and eyebrow. It does. Oh, because it's got this little eyeliner brush on the other end, which I never use because I use other ways of doing that. But see that little comb? You can comb through and get gooky off. Watch. See, I have a little gooky there. I'm going to comb through it. There, I got it. Got the excess, and there's one on the end. I'm going to get that off. It just keeps you from having big gloops. There. Also, if you really don't like a voluminous look in the sense of, um, you know, having a lot of mascara show up, use the brush in. I use the brush in to kind of brush my eyebrows up, though. Y'all, this color that I put on my brow today is too red, and I'm just noticing that. doesn't look good. It needs to be a dark brown. Everybody says, that's too dark. No, it's not. This is too red. Okay, so that's what it looks like using a spoolie brush. This one is a comb brush, meaning they're little prickle combs all the way around. See that? See the little prickles? Can you see them? And see the little gooky on the end? Ah, and the dog hair? Um, did I get it? No. It's actually not, that was just a fuzz. All right, but I need that little gooky on the end. See how it looks? It makes like a little curl of mascara. I need that because what am I going to do? I'm going to tip my lashes. Use that little gooky just to just go back and forth. Squint so you don't get it all over your lid. And just get the tip ends real good. Then you're going to do just like the other eye. Comb. I know I'm using two different mascaras on two different eyes. We're going to see which one looks better. And uh, we're going from the base what the good thing about a comb is it comes through the product just like that other comb does so it doesn't leave quite as much behind now i will tell you that also i didn't blink enough and that went right on my lid let me put this over here wipe it off i do not feel like this has this good coverage now this may be a little older i think this is the wrong mascara i just got a new one of these and we're doing the same thing to where we do the outer towards the ear, then we're going straight up, then towards the nose. And that just creates a fanned effect. And then we're going to go wiggle, wiggle down, wiggle, wiggle down, down, wiggle, wiggle down, wiggle, wiggle down, down, wiggle down, wiggle, wiggle down, down, wiggle down. We're going to dance. Y'all, I'm going to do a, a Bible study putting makeup on with y'all. Yeah, we're going to talk about the eyes, and we're going to talk about what the Bible says about the eyes. It's going to be great. What does the Bible say about your mouth? What does the Bible say about your cheeks, your face, your skin, your hair? And as you get ready, you'll have these scriptures that you can um, kind of think about as you get ready. Yeah, i got to work on that. <laughs> so it can be right away. I mean, it will. I'll work on it soon. Well... Y'all, I gotta tell you, just look at this mascara. Wow, look how voluminous this eye looks versus this eye. Same amount. Wiggle down. Now, here's the other tip that I'm gonna give you. I'm trying to get everything straight. Now, go back into the little barrel with that curly t end and hit the ends of the lashes last on your lower lashes. The reason you do it last is if you were squinting and all that kind of stuff through everything else, it would make a mess. But you're literally drawing a line like that straight down the lash. And what that's doing is it's straightening it and it's coating it all the way to the end. And look at how well coated that is. Wow. That's good mascara, y'all. Again, that's L'Oreal the Luminous Lash Paradise in black, waterproof. Right now we're going to get plenty on this Maybelline, the Rocket Volume Express. Because I think, no kidding, I think this may be an older bullet. I keep saying bullet, that's what you say about lipsticks. Okay, there's a lot on there though. Okay, so I'm going to tip this out again to be fair, because I just don't think there was enough product on the first round. So I'm going to re-tip over here. I feel like there's not enough mascara on the lashes. So see how that gave them more? And now I'm going to rake from the base to the ear. 
base up, base straight up, base straight up, up, up. Just letting that wand be cleared out and then towards the nose. Then wiggle, wiggle down, wiggle, wiggle down, down, down. I made a boo-boo. I noticed it. Hold on. Right. There. I have a skin tag, y'all. Right under my lashes. So I'm just, I always put mascara right on it. And it looks like an eyelash. <laughs> you got to get creative as you get older. Okay, so now I got some gooey on the end. And we're going to tip the ends just like we did over here. Because this is a comb, look at that big glob right there. See? Because this is a comb, this doesn't work quite as good using the tip end. So we're going to use the comb itself and get some of that off. And coming underneath and on top to kind of rake some of that back off. There we go. Straight down. Oops, I almost hit my cheek. I think it did hit my cheek. Oops. Okay, that's too goopy. So I'm going to use this little comb. Come under it, go straight up, straight up, and pull forward. And that did a great job. Filled it right up with extra goop. Actually, I actually don't want to take off too much, um, but it got off the excess. And immediately clean off your combs because if it dries, it'll ruin the comb. And then look. Yep. Perfect. Okay. So I am going to go back and get it off the end, kind of clean off the end, and then reshape this a little with the with the comb. They're almost identical. This, I think I like this a little bit. Um, I feel like it looks a little more wispy. This is a little more, um, not as much came back off the lash, but then, I mean, 